continuation of our previous video in game development. So uh, last time we created, uh, we designed this character as the main character, and we of course uh, replicated this uh, building characters into four. So right now, class, uh, right now, guys, I'm sorry, we will uh, develop this character into a morphing character by creating the animation, and at the same time, we need to control this. But before that, we start again and we convert this as what? As a part of our object. Okay, so how to do that? So we have here the conversion. Okay, so let us first what you call this uh, disable uh, some portion of this uh, screen. So we will concentrate right here. So we will uh, use this character as our main character. At the same time, we convert this. Uh, we uh, will uh, create an array of animation in this uh, um, frame. So how to do that? Okay, we will force edit this thing. Okay, now this is now what you call this the raster format or the raster uh, image of our, um, our character. Now we are using um, 12 frames per seconds in this uh, thing. So later on, we will use also the 20 frames per second to our final cut. Now, okay, let us create another what? Another uh, op, um, frame right here. Okay. Now we will, um, you know, um, turn this character. Okay. We will have to create the turn to the left and to the right. Okay. Okay. So we'll use the key drawing. Okay. How to do that? Now let us erase this thing, okay, and then we will uh, activate our onion skin. So the tools is what? The pen tool, we'll use the black color right here, and of course the properties is one point, okay, let us check. This is one point uh, 0.85, okay, let us check. You can adjust it to your own uh, preferences. Now we will uh, draw this thing. Okay, how to do that? Okay, we'll trace this thing. Okay, so I don't want anymore to use the sketch, um, you know, drawing. I just want to um, make it in the uh, fast. Okay, so we can use the line tool right here. Okay, tools. All right, so let's do the key drawing. Okay. Uh, if you're talking about key drawing, we are, are no longer using the um, detailed style of our, uh, what do you call this, of our um, in-between drawing. So I will immediately start right here, okay? Okay, so this is the ear. Okay, let's balance that. Okay. All right. Now, okay, let's make this bit farther go right here okay now we will do the side view okay okay now this is our character we will uh, uh, what you call this um do the turning shots of our character for our uh animation okay now we can use this line tool here okay another line tool okay then we have it here okay and then we will put it right here because this is part of our side view drawing all okay. right and then we call we turn it a bit okay and then we have here one two three four five okay and then okay and then we create an exaggeration right here for the tummy and of course right here okay that's it
Okay, let us continue. So we have here the two frames. At the same time, we are um, using the frame one as our um, base model. So our purpose here is to create our turnaround shots. We have the front view, and of course, we are now dealing with the side view. I am now putting the shades right here to make it more dynamic. At the same time, this is to um, pair also. Oh uh, no, this is to match also our character in the previous uh, uh, drawing. So the first drawing is, of course, we have the front view, and second drawing here we have the side view. Now um, I am. Um, uh, doing the final touches. Okay, let us put the shadow right here. Okay, this is too much. Also, the first drawing, and then we follow the color. Same thing, and of course with the pants. Okay, let us put the color right here. Okay, and then putting some shades in green, and then we use the paint tool here. Okay, draw uh, the the shadow. Okay, the purpose of this is the to make it more dynamic, and same time um. It will give more depth to our character. Okay, so later on we will just um, erase these um, unwanted lines. Okay, for now let us focus in uh, creating our own character, the turn around shots character for our uh, game um, game concept design. Okay, so let us first adjust the drawing and then you know um, mimicking the first frame and then we put now the shades in the hair of our character. And what else? Okay, let us change the expression because the first frame is totally different on the second frame. Okay. Okay, we have the side view, and it's about time that we need uh, to draw another back view. So this is a turnaround shot. This is to determine if our uh, model is um, in the same, uh, you know, in this in the same uh, picture. So we need to draw first the front view. Okay, how to do the front view? It's very simple. We have to do is to copy. Okay, the first layer, at uh, the first uh, uh, frame. And then we need to put that in place and of course activate the um, skin, um, onion skin, rather. Okay. Now, what will happen right here is, okay, I will erase first this thing, okay, because we are talking to the front view. At the same time, we need to reverse this as back view. Okay, let us put some ornament right here. And of course, uh, we'll, let's uh, modify the pants. So this is the part of the, the back view of the pants, okay. That is the pocket. Let us erase this thing. Okay, this is the technique how to draw that. Okay, the shoes for the back view. Now let us draw first the position of the shoes. Okay, how to do that? Okay, draw the shoes. Okay, okay, let's adjust it. Okay, that's it. Adjust it again. All right, and then we'll copy this, and then after that we modify and uh, you know position it in reverse uh, direction. So we need to follow the color of the shoes. Okay, let us put the color. Oops. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I cannot edit this thing. All right. So let us first uh, modify the first shoes. Okay. Okay. Now uh, I'm using the paint tool, and then okay, we put now the color to the bottom of the shoes. Okay. Since I cannot do it, and and I don't want to waste my time, so I use the manual coloring uh, method. Okay. What's next? So we need to uh, balance and proportion the head of the front view of the face to the back uh, view using also, also the face as our guide. No? Uh, this is to uh, make uh, it more uh, balanced and proportion. So let us erase this thing because this is part of the back view. Okay, let us follow the color. Okay, and use this um, a dark color as our uh, shades, okay, to make it more dynamic. We, we, we need to edit the hands. Okay, how to edit the hands. Okay, you can watch my previous tutorial in basic drawing in this channel, how to draw the hands. Okay, let us erase the thing and then we draw the hands. Uh, okay, hands is a bit that we call to draw. So in our next video, I will teach you how to do that. Okay, let's copy this color and go back to the second frame. Copy again the skin of uh, the face and put that in our color to make it a unison color. So we draw the line at the top. That's the very easy, okay? And uh, after that, we extrude the lines. And we again draw the lines. That is the line tool. And, okay. All right. Let us uh, copy, uh, move it here. And then we draw the spike to uh, follow the here of our character in the first and second frame. Okay, let us do the clean up, okay? So clean up is a bit laborious. <laughs> All right. Now, that's why there are clean up artists in animation um, department. They are do 
doing the inking and of course arranging the lines to make it more beautiful okay let us extrude the lines at the top for the hair okay and then what's next let us clean this thing okay put the neck and then follow the color again we go back to the previous frame and then follow the color now we put again the shades for the color okay to make it more dynamic all right so i'm using the paint tool here you can use uh, the photoshop or any editor okay back to our main frame so this is our main frame as you can see we have only one frame right here at the same time this was already extruded to different uh, actions no? uh, we have already edited this okay so we have we produced three um, drawings for our uh, character design we have the front view the side view and of course we have the back view so we use the key drawings also uh, only okay to create that in our next video we will continue this so now we will extrude this um, keyframe going here because this is already what you call this an object it is part already of the instance of uh, of the program of the flash program no? um, well uh, I just want to reiterate this you can use your Adobe CC animate okay now I will go right here in frame 5 and insert this thing this is already part of the movie clip now if you have the movie clip you can create a program and you, you can control this using the joystick you can control this in the keyboard okay let us activate this thing okay and then let us check so we have created the front view side view and side view so this character now will uh, do uh, the, the the spinning okay okay so when we run the program what will happen okay that's it now we will uh, what you call this um, decrease the frames per second let us put it nine here okay so that you can see the actual uh, spinning of this character okay when we run the program again all right so this will be slow down okay that's it in our next next video we'll uh, improve this thing and we create another character okay at the same time we'll put more actions in this character in this uh, lesson we uh, um, discuss how to uh, animate our character using the front view side view and back view we are not here to discuss the in between but again the techniques of key drawing okay please don't forget like and subscribe in this channel okay happy watching thank you